Imagine a barren piece of land. Imagine a thriving community. Now imagine you are responsible for managing the costs and the budget for building it. The whole reason I wanted to become part of construction and, and actually the house building sector was to be able to walk around at the end of a, a development and see a finished product. What initially attracted me was the aspect of this different every day. You're not just sat in an office doing the same thing day in day out and you also get the chance to go to site and experience what is actually being built. The whole reason I wanted to become part of construction and, and actually the house building sector was to be able to walk around at the end of a, a development and see a finished product. Um, I always had um, uh, a desire to go into a profession that allowed me to use um, maths and a, and a kind of project management um, style. Um, anything to do with money is important so there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders and um, yeah people respect you for that you make some difficult decisions. A bit about the house building industry that I love, you have to think on your feet uh, at all levels, especially within the commercial department. You have to be able to think, talk to uh, labourers, contractors, senior management, um, supply chain, and be able to communicate articulately uh, about costs and commerciality within the business. I fell into this role really, and since doing it, I've just found myself in quantity surveying and it's a great profession. I just think it incorporates a bit of site work, a bit of design work, a lot of dealing with subcontractors, suppliers, and lots of dealing with people, meetings on site. And that's really what I quite like doing, getting out and about, going to site, coming back into the office and seeing how it all fits together. Quantity of Air, um, it's, a, it's an unusual title, Quantity of Air. Um, it's one that's used in the industry broadly, but within house building, it's slightly different in the way it's structured. Um, they are looking after the budget all the way through to the uh, final accounts and the final adoptions um, to local authorities. So on a day-to-day -day basis, Quantity of Air's role is more of a middleman between the site team and the office team. Uh, we provide um, assistance to uh, both management teams on site, uh, we manage uh, subcontractors, uh, we're in involved in um, looking after the, the payments, um, but also just managing the progression with on site, um, making sure that everyone's happy with what's happening um, and just making sure the whole site and pr progress is running smoothly. My role includes a lot of paying subcontractors, dealing with subcontractors, dealing with issues on site, um, dealing with issues internally, presenting reports to our directors. So really it encompasses quite a lot of different professions and skills. The role of the commercial team is to look after um, the, the, I call it the purse strings of the industry. So we are, um, we are custodians of costs, we are custodians of the supply chain, um, we are looking after the, the means to build our homes to the highest possible uh, quality and standard so that our customers can enjoy uh, their environment and their home. So I hope to finish my two years at uh, college doing my HNC level four and then I also hope to do, go to university west of England to finish off my, to do another three years doing the quantity surveying degree. As of yesterday, I've handed in my dissertation for university, so I've just come to the end of that stage. Uh, my career progressions from there um, are to, to just basically to progress through um, to become a quantity surveyor um, and then hopefully just move on and, and see where I can get within Taylor Wimpy um, and, and just carry on with, with the project management and the quantity surveying side of it. Proudest moment in my career so far would have been graduating from university, so it was all assisted by TW and yeah, one day a week for the last five years and all of that culminating to a degree, um, yeah, it meant, a really, it meant a lot to me. I've been a commercial director now for, well, bordering on with a two-year gap, probably about 19 years. So um, in that period, um, I'm proud about the number of people that have come through working for me and either have 
stayed with me in some cases, but some have moved on to other businesses where they've had career progression. We offer that opportunity here and certainly with my current team, we have a succession plan that is tiered such that everybody sees where they're going to be, hopefully in two years, three years, four years, or maybe even five years. Uh, there's a structure to my team and that's probably what makes me proudest at the moment is we have a strong team. It's been a hub of our business unit for some time now uh, and long may that continue.